Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. So God is saying that sadly someone who really loves you had to go. They had to leave you. They couldn't go with you. It was not really an easy decision to make, but it had to be made because it is for a greater good. They are going to do preparations and once they are done preparing that room for you, they will also come and get you. Hallelujah. That is why here when you read in the book of John chapter 14 verse 1, the Bible says, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you may also be where I am. Hallelujah. So God is also still saying in your life today that, yes, you might feel like you are alone, but God has gone to prepare nice things for you, a nice place for you. He's still going to come back for you. But in the meantime, he did not even leave you alone he left you with the holy spirit so know that you are not alone he still left you with access to him because you can call him at any time and he can come to you at any time it's not like he is gone away for good you can still be in contact with him yes right now you might be feeling so alone you might be feeling so deserted but god is still going to be coming back for you in the mighty name of jesus and god has left you with a comforter god God has left you with someone who can speak the heart, the mind of God unto you so that you know what God is thinking about, what God is feeling, God's feelings towards you, God's feelings towards what is happening. He's left you with the descending spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. So God is still saying in your life today, do not let your heart be troubled. Yes, there might be many things today that are troubling your hearts, but God is still saying that do not let your hearts be troubled there's still a great room that you need to be occupying in the mighty name of jesus amen